Hi, welcome to my world. Come on in. It's time for Health and Wellness Tuesdays, and we have got a treat for tonight. So come on in. My name is Colleen Liz Frost, and I am a coach for the Seven Days Live streams. And I am here tonight to welcome you and come on in. And I have got a nice surprise for you tonight. I am an author and I am um, busy with my book, hoping to release it sometime this fall. And I am looking forward to opening up my digital home. It is, um, I'm a preservationist and I am building this home for those I love, and I hope you would like to come on in. The book is about uh, a mother's mission to the National Register of Historic Places while in remission. And it is quite a story. And I hope that you are along for the journey of what it was like to become a preservationist. I have a story to tell and um, I, I'm doing it very simply by breaking it down into how I was raised. And my mother had a theory and she just said, parenting is very simple. It, all you need is a balance. And so I have broken down all the lessons that she taught me and my dad. And I have turned it in to a digital home and I cannot wait to share it with you. Hold on. With Health and Wellness Tuesdays, I encourage everyone to drink water. Oh, this is so much fun. You know, I have when I raised my son, I had a toolbox. Let me show you. It's my grandfather's toolbox. And in it, I had our tools on how to communicate. And for us, it was very important for our health and our wellness to learn um, how to communicate. And it was one of the, my biggest challenges, um, having had my history, I thought when I am lucky enough to be a parent, that is the one thing that I'm gonna be really good at. And I played division one basketball for the University of South Carolina. And so I had exceptional coaches throughout my life. And I was very lucky to have been blessed with coaches who knew how to communicate. They were able to inspire us to um, reach goals that I felt were, you know, un unbelievable, unattainable goals. But for some reason, they believed in us and uh, I believed in them. So if they told us to jump, I would just say how high. And I wanted my son to believe in the things I asked him to do. And I kind of think that it was broken down, even with my parents, um, with how they coached us. And when my mother passed um, 10 months ago, she said, honey girl, I've been your head coach all your life. She said, now it's time for you to be your own head coach. And I was so used to being a player and um, being a cheerleader of my coaches, that this has been something that I'm working really hard on. Um, communication. I want to share with you the two tools tonight, and we'll have many of them. To leave people, places, and things better than what you found them. Now that's a lesson, especially as a single parent, that was really fun to teach my son. When you are a caretaker, and in my case, I was um, I had a cancer challenge most of my son's life. And um, we were on our own since he was a year old. And um, I was diagnosed with cancer when he was two. So the, those that cancer journey, along with parenting, I thought I better come up with some good ways to have fun while parenting. And so I'll give you an example of what it was like teaching how to leave people, places, and things better than what you found them. And it was, uh, I'll give you one example. When we were cleaning or picking up our toys at night and he would 
he would say, whose is this or whose is this? And I'd say, honey, we're in this home together and this is a peace house. And so if you see it and I want you to leave it better than what you found it. So let's just work together. And it doesn't matter whose stuff it is. Let's just, if you see it, you pick it up and leave it better than what you found it. And oh, he just thought that was great. So along we went year after year and it was never anyone's fault who left something out. And I just love that about him. And we just seemed to have a really good way um, to go from room to room and never get upset with each other of who left what out because it was plenty of work for the both of us to do. And uh, anyway, and if somebody was upset or a teammate in our family was down, it just seemed like little Adam would just be, find a way to go over and make that person better than what he found them. So it was just a wonderful way to communicate. And it seemed like that's what a head coach should do is um, not to browbeat or to discourage people, um, especially when you walk into a room and you think that, you know, that these people aren't that bad a shape, why leave them in worse shape? Or if that child left their um, toys out, you know, maybe perhaps to lean down and pick them up, they'll start to think about picking up the things that you leave out. So to work together, and that's what my coaches um, in my life taught me. Um, and I thought they had a secret. My mother and dad sure did. Um, it was very simple. They called it the three A's. And my mother told, told me that if you can teach Adam to give you the three A's before noon, he'll have a better day. And then if he can give you those three A's one more time before bedtime, he will have a better night. So let's review the three A's in the toolbox. Starting with attention. You know, how many of us get up and just dismiss everybody in the house in the morning? You know, it's just something that we were not allowed to do. It was get up and find our people and uh, give them some attention full stop. And then the second one is to affirm something that they said. And as, the, as we get older and we say the simplest things in the morning, just to say, oh, that's a good idea. Or maybe, you know, it does kind of look like it might snow. And by gosh, today it did. So, you know, just to affirm what the other person is saying in the littlest of ways will help that person put a whistle in a step for you the rest of the day. Find something that they said could be somewhat right. And you know, I told Adam, I said, and if somebody starts their sentence with the word no, this is a problem. <laughs> Bring it to Sundays. We have got to discuss that problem. So be careful how you start your sentence, especially in the morning, because lunchtime could be pretty weak for you. <laughs> Lastly, before you start your morning and run off to your corners, you might want to stop at the refrigerator. And after you finish the first two A's, look around at mom and say, you know what, before I head to my little sun porch and start my day, I'm going to run over and give her a hug or ask her if I can pour her one more cup of coffee. Some sign of affection. And, and those are the three A's. And that's just one example of how to start your morning. And hopefully before noon, because then that person that you left behind with those three A's nestled in their hearts for their health and wellness the rest of the day, will ensure that you get a treat of some kind when you come home. And that was my mom and dad's secret to their almost 70 years of marriage. And it was kind of fun because every once in a while at the after dinner and stuff, they might maybe have a little bit of a row, a debate about something on the news. And after the, it would settle down in puzzle time or they'd have company 
And before you know it, the Charlie Prides would come on or the Conway Twitties. And here we go again with the three A's. And sure enough, there was something that dad would give mother attention for. Or I would seek out Adam to affirm something that he did in the day. And by the time nighttime fell, there would be some type of affection. And so for me, with our home and our toolbox, I wanted, I wanted my son to just meet somebody with which he has now. And they have their own toolbox. And I am so proud of them. And, uh, and she's really special to me. And uh, I love that they have their own toolbox and they work at it every day. And uh, I hope tonight with these lessons that you'll think about people in business in your hometowns. You'll think about those dreamers that come to you with those crazy ideas. And I want you to think about how are you supporting them with the three A's? And how are you supporting your schools? And how are you supporting your, um, your environments? You know, are you leaving people, places, and things better than what you found them? Are you hitting the like button? Are you uh, lifting a friend up? Are you leaving them better than what you found them? Is it, is it, is it a lot of effort? You know, that's what that's what you need to ask yourself. And for me, you know, sometimes like with my mother passing, you know, my sister and her were really close and my twin brother. And it's a lot of energy to uh, not always be the people that we have always been to them. And I thought to myself, I had some good advice from my brother-in-law. He says, you know, um, Carmen could sure use a, uh, a real close friendship. And that's what I decided to do. I decided, you know what? I need to be soft like mother to my, to my siblings. And boy, is my life better because they miss mother too. So my life is getting better as I'm learning these family tools in our toolbox. And so I hope this has helped you. And I'm going to put this tool right in my digital home. Well, it's going to be in the tool shed. Um, and lastly, I just want you to know that this, uh, that I am in development with all these different things I'm working on, and I have come a long way. And in sports, like with my South Carolina Gamecocks and my girls basketball players that I went to school with, you know, I thought I was good. And then I went to South Carolina, and I was proud to sit on that bench. And I was their biggest cheerleader. And you know something, when I finished the season and I look back at those 13 games that I got a couple minutes of playing time in, I tell you, I was honored to be amongst them. I've never seen ball players like that in my life. And I got to travel the country and I was really lucky. So all of us have different roles, whether we're on teams or um, in business. And I'm getting ready to start a business, and I'm kind of already in this pre-launch. So I'm hopeful that I'll have support, and I am counting on it. And I would like to hear from you. So if you can help me with uh, a couple things, if you want to reach out or you want or need something, or you just want to say hi, it would be good for, for our souls to share that. And I think it would leave all of us better if we could communicate. And I would like that. So let's communicate socially. And I'm looking forward to it. I think we have found a perfect fit. And when you see my home and come to my uh, digital space, you are going to like it. And I want you to come on in. So thanks for tonight. I enjoy meeting with you. I know that you will remember me because after all, who has a shoe closet with marbles? I, this is why I'm having fun, but I've missed my shoes and I do have a basketball pair of shoes in there somewhere, but it's been a long time. So remember your history, plan your today, and let's look forward to tomorrow. 
Remember me, Coach 33, and I'll see you tomorrow. Because what's happening tomorrow? Well, we have to find out. It's Wednesday. What's happening? And...